Good day to you, YouTube. My name is Derek Broad, and I'm your guide and host. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Corner, where I help you get your week started off right. In today's video, we're going to be going over the five steps to gentlemanliness. And if you follow all of these five steps and help yourself improve in each of these facets, you're definitely going to feel more sexy at the end of the day. Step number one is simply enough just your personality. Your personality is the way that you interact with the world, it's the way that people perceive you, it is how you project yourself. There's a certain uh, stigma around uh, you need to be a jerk in order to be that stereotypically, like, uh, I suppose, like that stereotypical sex appeal. But in reality, no one wants to deal with you if you're just a jerk. Um, you will always get farther by being generous, being nice, and paying genuine compliments. You need to put a certain amount of weight into the whole serious and sexy look, but really be yourself and don't try to be anything that you're not. Number two is your brain. Women love a smart guy, and that is not to say that you need to be pretentious in your smarts. Uh, do your research. Um, Talk about things that you know things about. Perhaps you're faced with a situation where you're trying to impress a girl with your intellect and then maybe you delve into a topic that she knows way more than you about. And then she tries to initiate a conversation and then you're just kind of sitting there with that blank look. That's not sexy. It's not gentlemanly and it's just not appealing at the end of the day. Ashton Kutcher put it brilliantly in his 2013 acceptance speech at the Teen Choice Awards. Smart is the new sexy. That brings us to number three, your wardrobe. Your wardrobe is how you present yourself to people without them even having to talk to you. Um, Antonio Centeno from Real Men Real Style put it perfectly. When shopping for clothes and when uh, figuring out your wardrobe, you need to have three things. Fit, fabric, and finish. Now, you need to have certain levels to your wardrobe as well. There's casual, which is just your general t-shirt and jeans. There's uh, semi-formal or business casual. They're somewhat interchangeable. As well as your formal wear, uh, if you're asked to go to a wedding or a black tie event of any sort. Your wardrobe is the greatest way to communicate with somebody without even actually having to speak a word. Number four is your grooming. Now, grooming, in a sense, is a lot like your wardrobe. It allows you to communicate with people while not actually speaking to them. Um, is your hair... Uh, does your haircut complement your face shape? Does your beard or your facial hair complement your face shape? Um, do you smell? Have Did you shower that morning? Um, it The list really goes on. Um, grooming is an essential tool and an essential facet of life that you need to be able to control in order for you to come across as... Uh, as presentable as you can be. And number five is your fitness. Go to the gym, work out, or even do it at home. There are uh, calisthenic exercises that you can look up online or everybody knows how to do push-ups and sit-ups. Think about it. When you see somebody in uh, public and they have kind of fallen behind on their fitness regime, whether they are overweight or underweight, whatever the case may be, you automatically form an opinion of them. And this holds true for all of these other aspects as well. Really, uh, if you, you don't even necessarily have to go to the gym, but if you're keeping up with your fitness, not only will other, per other people perceive you as uh, more or better or uh, whatever, uh, you'll see that yourself as well. It feels good to look good. And that includes your wardrobe, your grooming, uh, and your fitness at the end of the day. However, YouTube, that is all that I have for you guys today. If you 
try and improve upon these five facets of your life, I can guarantee you that you are going to see an increase in your uh, in the social aspects of life, and it's also going to boost your confidence as well. However, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.